the next one we've got is a tardy pod video from an F-35 killing a cruise missile in Israel. Uh, and there's backstory. I think it's Yemen, the Houthis. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. The, 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 my question is, how are they getting such technology? How do they have cruise missiles? Who's giving them these cruise missiles? Eh, I wonder. Starts with an I and ends with a RAN. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, is this it, Doug? Sorry, I, I, I clicked the button. Yep, that's the one. Uh, bump it's it up a, the go screen. back up. Uh, it's got sound, too. Okay. Hang on, go ahead. But it, it yeah. says, on the same day, they the Aero Aerial Defense System intercepted a surface tier missile in the Red Sea. And I read an article that that might be the first space kill because the yeah. thing went went orbit. I read that before too. It came down and they I shot it I, in space. Yeah. Yes, I believe they did. That's crazy. That's crazy. I read that as well. Yeah. It, um, is it, what's the audio? Just them yelling? And. Yeah, I think it's just, yeah, it's, I heard the audio version. It's just some, you know what that looks a lot like? It's not like a tomahawk. Well, it looks a lot like a certain UAP video that we watched about 20 years ago. Um, oh, true, true that. Uh, you know, that we don't know what it is, but check that out, man. I think they shot a Python at it, didn't they? I did. I, I was it's, wondering it's what they might have used. I, I, I yeah. said. I, I've one of one of their shoot downs was a Python, but dude, I'm just impressed that the targeting pod's tracking it. That to yeah. me tells you how great the EOIR system in the F-35 is that it's tracking and and watching the whole thing happen. But the yeah, F-35 TM is hauling ass. Yeah, it's but the F-35 is getting a lot of action and and it's a lot of ops testing. You know, it's it's almost its own. Yeah. OT and E in yeah. the real world, just like Ukraine, Ukraine with some of our ground based stuff. Yes, but that's particular I'm not a radar guy, but that's particularly impressive because of the of the, the ground clutter, possibly, right? I mean the, yeah. to, to get that thing going so low and so fast and track it that accurately and intercept like that is pretty cool. Look at Douglas. That's what an F thirty five does, ladies and gentlemen, right there. There you go. The cruise missile was likely launched from the Iran backed Houthis in Yemen. Although the IDF did not specify the launch site, while Israeli, it, probably Israel, did not specify what weapon was used to intercept the incoming threat of violence or armed with both the 9X and the AIM-120 uh, AMRAM missiles. So I guess they didn't. I thought they said a Python. It might have been the F-15 kill. But uh, check that out, man. Those guys. And they have a souped up version of the F-35. They have the yes. Adir, right? Is that yeah. what it's called? Adir? Yeah, and... So. They're out there doing good work. So uh, I, I just, I, I'm curious the logistics. They didn't specify, but I'm curious are these ground launched? How are they, how are they shooting these things? Cause that's, that's a probably a good little trek to get there. Yeah. I would say, I would say they probably have to be ground launched given if it was yeah. those Yemenis. No boats or anything. Them. No boats, yeah. no aircraft, bombers or anything. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, it's, it's interesting also when you think about, Everything that had to get to this point, they had to detect it. They had to scramble a fighter, and then the fighter had to find it, and then the fighter had to lock it, and then they tracked it with the targeting pod or the optical, you know, the thing, yeah. um, and shot it. I mean, there's there's a lot to get to this point. It's, I mean, it looks great on on Twitter, but man, that got to get to this this stage, a lot had to happen. Yeah. So it's impressive, impressive yeah. stuff. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, all right, cool. Well, that's uh, that's thanks, Douglas, for for doing that. 